Hello friends, welcome to LMSDaily.com. In today's episode, I will show you about the groups in your Moodle course. Using the groups is one of the wonderful things in Moodle as it allows you to make collaboration among the students. You can use the students to collaborate with each other by creating different groups. So let us see how you can set up the groups in your Moodle course. As you can see, I am logged into the Moodle course as a teacher and I have this editing mode in on condition. So if you are not there in the editing mode, please click this toggle switch to turn on the editing mode. Now go to this participants tab and if you are using the older version of Moodle, then it will be under the course administration block or the course navigation block. And now on this page, just expand this drop down to see this groups tab. And when I click, once I click here, then it will show me the groups page. So as of now, you can see that there are no groups in this course. And if you have any groups set up, you will see them here. And afterwards, you can just see the members of each group on this right side bar. Now let us see how you can create the groups in Moodle. So just click on this create group button. The next auto create groups, we will discuss it a bit later and then in the next one, we can import the groups. So let us click on this create group first. Now on this page, you can see that we can enter a group name, a group ID number and a description. So let us proceed with the first one. First group. I will leave this group ID number as blank and I will not provide any group description. Then if you need, you can provide a enrollment key for specific to this group. I will just keep it as blank. I will not set it up. Then if you allow, if you want to allow the group messaging feature, then you can select yes here. And if you want to have a new picture or a specific picture dedicated to this group, then you can upload that picture here. Once you are done with these settings, then just click this save changes button at the bottom. So now you can see that we have first group ready in our groups block. Now let us click on add and remove users. We select this group by clicking on this one and then click add and remove users. So on this page, you can see the potential members which can be added to this group. And you need to just press the control button and select as many of the students you want. And then click on this add button here. So now you can see that these four students have been added to the group members. You can also add a teacher to this group if, in case you need this. If you have multiple students, then you can search them by their name in this search bar and then you can select them to add to the group. If someone is added to the group by mistake, then you can just simply click this button and click on remove and it will be removed from this group. Then it is done. So we will just click on back to groups. So this is how you can set up the group and add users into the group. Now let me show you how you can auto create the groups. So on this groups page again, let us click on this auto create groups. This is mainly intended for creating multiple groups at once. Now let us say you have a class which is containing hundreds of students and you want to distribute them in let us say five students per group. So this can be helpful and you can just create different type of groups like let us say group at the rate can be the naming scheme. And then in the next field, it is auto create based on the number of groups or you can also define the members per group. So let me go with this members per group and I will just define this group and member count as three. So what I need here is that there can be maximum three members in each group and afterwards there will be next group form. I will keep this group messaging as not.
In the next section, we have the group member sections. Here, the first field is to select the members with the role. So, you need to select either all if you want all of the users to be enrolled in the groups or you can choose only the student and it will just enroll all the students within the course to different groups. I will suggest to keep this to student only. The next option is to select the members from the cohort. Uh, I will just explain you. I will explain about the cohorts in a separate video. So I will just skip this for as of now. What are cohorts and how you can use them in Moodle. The next option is the select members from the group. Here you can also select the members from already existing groups. So if we can select this first group which we just created in previous section. But I will keep it as none. The next option is to allocate the members. Here by default the option is chosen as randomly. But you can also have different options to sort by the first name alphabetically or by last name and you can also sort them by id numbers the best option i suggest is to keep it as random so that all the students are selected randomly in different groups the next two fields are for preventing the last small group let us say after distributing three students in each count you have only one student left which is not allocated to any group then you can use this so that the last student will be added to the last group instead of creating one more group for a single student. The next checkbox is to ignore the users in the group. The next option is to include only active enrollments and it will not use the suspended enrollment students to the groups. The next section is about the groupings. As of now, I will leave these groupings also for the time being and I will explain about the groupings in a separate video. So let us see the preview by clicking this preview button here. And if you see that on the bottom, we have got total three groups, group A, B and C. Out of the total 11 students, we have got four, four and three students in each group. So if we keep this as unchecked then let us see what happens is we will get four groups and the last group is having only two members in this group so let us click submit and now you can see that after this first group we have got group a b c and d and here are the different students which are enrolled in these groups if you want to delete any group then you need to just select it here to select multiple groups just click the control or command button on your Mac and then select the groups and then you can click this delete selected group button on the bottom if you want to update any settings for a specific group you can just select and click this edit group settings now I will show you how you can import the groups so Again on this groups page, just click on this import groups. Here you need to upload the CSV file which you might have got from your previous Moodle instance or any other course where you have groups already, already set up. So you need to upload that file here and then click import groups here. So this is how you can import the groups from already existing course to your Moodle course. But as of now, I will just click cancel. And this is how you can use the groups in Moodle. Now, let me show you how you can set up any activity with the groups mode on. So I'll click on this add an activity or resource button here. And I will choose assignment here. And I will give the name as first assignment. I will not update you about all these settings and I will just simply go to this common module settings and here you can see that the group mode is as of now selected to the new groups. 
I will just change it to the visible groups and I will just click on save and display. So here you can see that uh, the visible groups are selected here. This is how you can use the groups in your Moodle course. If you like this video, please don't forget to click the like button as well as press the bell icon to subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any questions or queries regarding using Moodle groups, please post them in the comments section below. Thank you.